Hello YouTube. Just a little update. I'm getting ready for my big debut. My big debut is six months from now. I'm gonna take my trailer out to uh, the Amador County Fair in Plymouth. Now look at this. I have my back gears engaged. Uh, is this supposed to run this slow? Or is this, uh, I'm not a machinist and um, I'm just having fun out here. But uh, this looks mighty slow. What would you, maybe, maybe I got my pulleys running too slow. But uh, Here we got the back gears and the change gears running. It uh, doesn't really make it much noise at all. But uh, how can it make noise when it's running that slow? But uh, you machinists out there, leave me a comment. Tell me what the back gear is for. I know you can get more power and everything, and, and maybe what I need to do is uh, change my pulley speeds, get things running a little bit faster, which uh, I'm playing around with that right now. I, I just have a temporary belt running across here. Just put that big pulley up there. This other one's going to be another uh, power shaft because uh, right now, uh, the tinker around. I'm gonna gonna get another one of those two horse motors and stick it up there. This belt is in the way of my hoist coming back and forth, which uh, I got a couple ideas going on in my head. Which uh, I have this big uh, four foot diameter pulley, which. Uh, I wanted to put it on there now. You know this is uh, this is just a a show machine. Um, but I was gonna put the, the four foot pulley in the front off this porch, and that's the whole idea in the beginning when I built this porch out here. It hangs over the front four feet. But then I started thinking about uh, my uh, my tongue weight, and I decided that I got so much weight here in the front. I, that's why I built the porch off the back, back here, and uh, I run both my line shafts all the way out here to the end. Let's see, I I can't see. There we go. That's that side. That's that side. And I had my my I beam for my hoist come out here. I had it two feet, cut two feet off. Then when I put this four foot porch on the end, I uh, welded the I beam back on. And since uh, this four foot pulley I have, I, I think it's about 13 inches uh, wide. Take it. I suppose that's a 10, 12 inch belt. So it'll um, transmit a lot of horsepower. But uh, I think I can put it out here. Since my peak up there is 13 feet, when you're standing down here on the ground, which is where I'm at now, the bottom of that pulley would be close to nine feet off the ground. I mean, we got headroom. And even if you stood up here on the trailer, it's only 20 inches high, that still gives you over seven feet, which is actually two and a half, three feet out there. So I'm thinking about getting some more uh, I-beam. So this is four and a half by, by two and a half web I-beam. And I got a, a hoist up here 
that's rated at a uh, uh, thousand pounds. I don't, I don't need any more than a thousand pounds. And uh, get another piece and run it out the front so that I could pick the equipment up out the front because the, the, the doors and all, uh, I designed them to be open front and rear. I was just gonna fill this side up down here, but uh, I think that'll work. And um, what we'll do is <laughs> change direction again, which is, it's all right. Just having fun. I did get uh, this running. I got my shifter. which works real good. I took the uh, automatic feed lever off because the automatic feed, uh, uh, what do you call that, clutch or something in here is uh, Need to work. It may just be uh, just stuck a little. But for right now, I'm getting this ready for the show, which is going to be the, the end of July. If uh, if anybody is in California at the end of July, come out to the Amador County Fair. I'm gonna. Uh, I know I got six months. I'm a slow worker, but I want to get this thing running and uh, take it out for its uh, debut and uh, have everything, you know, as much as possible. That, uh, uh, that gear, really slow. Good thing is everything's smooth, no noise, no, uh, really, really quiet. Doesn't make noise like like this drill press does. This, of course, this got big old gears on it. Uh, I gotta clean this up a little bit. It is a two speed, but it's a little bit dunked up. I'm putting this together to make it look like an actual running uh, machine shop. So no uh, deep lacquer paint with uh, pin striping and such. This is uh, going to look like an old, uh, crusty, dirty, greasy machine shop. That's, that was my my whole plan in the beginning. And uh, there you have it. Well, thanks for watching. Uh, Leave me a comment, and uh, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.